Hello everybody. Welcome to another Bluebird Mindful Mondays where we get a crew of bluebirds together to practice mindfulness and um, really just allow our bluebird strangeness and centeredness to shine through. Um, once again, it's going to be happening every Monday at 9.30 a.m. Mountain Time. So mark your calendars, remember to tune in and have a little bit of mindfulness with us birds. So as everybody's coming in, I just ask you to follow a, your next inhale into your body and return yourself to your presence of your felt experience. Just notice any bodily sensations that you might be having. Any thoughts, feelings, emotions. And whatever you notice, just allow it to be. If you feel uncomfortable and you have to shift, allow the shift to happen. Just practice non-judgment and awareness of everything that comes up. And now really feel the gravity, the energy of the earth drawing you down deep to the center, keeping you grounded in contact with your seat. And once again, we'll open ourselves up to that opposing cosmic energy, the animating energy of life as it draws us up towards the heavens. And just noticing those two energies mixing within you. The deep, grounding, solid force drawing us into Mother Earth. And the bright, dignifying energy of the cosmos animating us and drawing us up. And again, let's find where those two energies meet. Somewhere near your stomach, a little bit lower. Drawing you down and pulling you up at the same time. And let's travel a little bit up the spine from that area up to our hearts. And today we're going to practice compassion. So first, I want you to imagine whatever is easiest for you to love. If it's a spouse or a child or a pet, Whatever you find is the easiest target for you to bring love to. Imagine that person or pet and bring them into your heart and space. And surround them with warm, caressing, loving energy. Maybe it'd be helpful if internally you said to that person or pet how much you love them and how much you appreciate them. And just 
just cradle them in your heart, warm and supportive. If you're having trouble focusing, just come back to that image of that loved one deep within your heart, maybe bringing a smile to your face, maybe bringing joy, maybe bringing comfort that allows you to settle. Just feel everything that comes with it. And next, take someone that you have no strong feelings about. Could be an acquaintance, a coworker, someone that you don't necessarily love, but someone also that you don't necessarily have any ill will towards. Just a pretty neutral person in your life. Bring them into that same heart space. Into that warm, supportive, caressing heart space. And see if you can bring those same emotions that you felt towards your loved one to this neutral person. bring back that joy, that comfort, that gratefulness, and surround them. And something that helps me too is imagining giving that person a big hug, because I'm a hugger. Whatever it is that works for you, to cradle that person in love. Just focus. And we'll bring that up at another challenge level. Imagine now someone that you feel some ill intention toward. Someone that maybe has hurt you. Someone that maybe doesn't have the same values and ideals as you. When you have that person in mind, See if you can bring them into that same heart space with the understanding that they are on their own journey, that they have their own life and their own experiences that have led them to where they are. See if you can practice understanding for this person as you also bring them into that heart space. Knowing that love and acceptance is the first step to correction. That hate breeds more hate. Judgment breeds more judgment. Bring that person into your heart with understanding and see if you can't bring those same feelings towards your loved one of love, acceptance, comfort to this challenging or difficult person.
cradle them in that same warmth. Try to love them just the same, exactly as they are. And now for the final piece of this practice. Some might find this part easy, and for some, this might be the most challenging part. Imagine yourself exactly as you are, with nothing added and nothing taken away. All of your imperfections and faults, all of your amazingness and your inherent dignity of being a human. And bring yourself into that heart space. Cradle yourself in that warmth, in that love, in that joy. exactly as you are. You might find yourself feeling some self-pity as you bring yourself into your love. You might find it difficult. And that's okay. It's the continuous practice of bringing love and acceptance to yourself that will create a strong foundation for everything you do in life. But that love needs to come with no strings attached. Exactly as you are. And when you're ready, follow your next big exhale back out into the space around you. Filling up the room you're in. Reconnecting you once again to the downward energy of the earth and the uplifting energy of the cosmos. Connecting you to your environment, to the people around you. And when you're ready, if your eyes are closed, you can blink them open. And my challenge to you for today and throughout the rest of the week is to practice that love for yourself, for everyone around you, even the people and especially the people that challenge you. Thanks everyone for joining another Bluebird Mindful Monday.